Good morning everybody and welcome to another episode of Finding Our Adventure. As you can see behind me we're all getting packed up to check out the hotel this morning and we're actually going to head off onto another island today and it's actually probably the main reason why we came to Lanzarote a few years ago and obviously we never got to do that because we've got locked down here on the island so we're really excited to head up to the island of La Graciosa which is full of beautiful beaches, volcanoes and it's very quiet and very secluded so we're really excited. We've got about an hour's drive this morning to head up to the north of the island to be able to get the ferry and then we've got a nice Airbnb booked. So we're gonna take you along with us and show you exactly where we're going. Okay, so we just made it to Orsola, where the ferry goes to La Graciosa. We're just gonna go check the ferry times now and everything and get some tickets. And all the parking around here for the ferries is free, so we'll be able to leave it here for the next three nights and it's all gonna be safe, which is really good. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go check the ferry times, get some tickets, and then probably wander around the town before getting on the ferry in a bit. So we just bought our tickets for the ferry. It cost about 50... Six euros, I think. It was 26 euros each. 26 euros each, but it was, yeah. So 52. 52 euros. And um, so what we've done is we've booked it for returning on the Monday because we're going to be on the island for three nights. Most people only go for the day, but we've got an Airbnb over there. So we're going to go check out all the beautiful beaches that are over there. It's going to be amazing. So we're going to get the one o'clock ferry so we can just enjoy a bit of the town before we go across. We've just um, watched the boat go out of the harbour and we're going to get on and because it's still very windy today, the, the waves are really choppy and it looks like it really struggled to get out there. It's like we're definitely going to be sick on yeah. this boat. <laughs> yeah, that looks really like hectic because the waves are really big. So um, yeah, that looked like it struggled to get out but it's like all over the place. So fingers crossed we don't drown. Yeah, we won't be uh, hovering over the edge. <laughs> Might fall off. Wow, it's like literally all over the place. I feel like we've gone back to our backpacking days of um, stuff, carrying bags onto ferries around the Philippines. So this is really fun, but um, yeah, don't miss having to carry this big lump around. <laughs> Come on, big lump. <laughs>
We've just arrived on the island of La Graciosa, which is off the north west tip of um, Lanzarote. And we've been so excited to get here because this is one of the original reasons why we came to Lanzarote. And we've got this amazing apartment that actually didn't cost that much. It's normally fully booked, but I think because tourism is low at the moment, we were able to get it and it's beautiful. We'll give you a room tour later, but we're just going to head into the town now to go get some food. And then over the next few days, we're going to go explore some of the best beaches on the island and have an amazing time. Just gonna head into the little town now to go to the supermarket to get some supplies and then um, yeah we'll go for your route tour later and figure things out and um, there's at least three beaches here that we know of that are supposed to be incredibly beautiful and that's probably the main reason why on the island is to go explore them yeah. there's also volcanoes all around and all the tracks in town all the roads are all dirt um, sandy tracks still so it feels really like rural and rustic and, and old school and it just feels Very really cool to rustic. explore yeah Almost, like, and all the buildings are white with like pretty coloured um, windows and doors and yeah it's gonna be awesome. it's gonna be a cool place to explore <laughs> hi everyone so we're gonna give you a quick tour around the airbnb that we're staying in on la graciosa and it's just gonna be a really quick um whistle stop tour so as you come in there is a nice a single bed room with views out onto the patio so at the moment we're not using this room but if we had friends or that wanted to come with us we've got extra space and there's lots of wardrobes just behind there and then we walk into the kitchen area and dining space there's a nice table to have your breakfast or your dinner and like a huge size kitchen with everything you need fridge freezer um, stove top sink and then a nice comfortable sofa to chill out on the evenings after exploring the island and there's a TV and a massive coffee table and then just through here we have the bathroom a decent size with a nice shower behind the door and sink and mirror and there's a bidet as well we haven't used that <laughs> and then in here we have the bedroom that we've been in and it's so nice um, waking up to the sun just through these doors and then we can come out here into our patio area so that's a quick tour of where we're staying on La Graciosa and now we're going to head off to the beach and make the most of the sun Good morning everybody, we're up and about. We've been up this morning doing some photo shoots for um, a brand called Stronger. They do like um, women's sportswear. So we've been using all the really cool like Land Rovers that are dotted around the town to shoot against and stuff. It's been really good fun. And now we've just got ready and we're heading off to the beach. And it's a beautiful sunny morning. And I think we're just gonna go to the beach, make the most of it, um, take some photos and just have a really nice day. And yeah, it's gonna be a good one. town in La Graciosa is a really interesting place because it has almost like a Mad Max kind of feel like with all the old 4x4s they're all kind of just rusting but they're all still used um, I guess it's all the salt air and the wind when the wind blows it blows all the salt air onto them so they just rust a lot more as you can see one going past but it's really cool seeing them all and it just makes a really cool location for photos and just having a great time and I think the walk to the beach this morning is going to be about 40 minutes to an hour it took about half an hour to the first beach yesterday so we're planning for about an hour and um, yeah, we're just basically walking along the sand road and through the um, dunes and the beaches and stuff. So that's how long it'll take. But yeah, it's a nice walk. It's, um, we're, we're doing it in like flip-flops and sandals and you can just walk on the sand most of the time. So it's a bit of a barefoot adventure. So um, yeah, it's gonna be a good one. And it's all a natural nature reserve, isn't it? So a lot of the places, um, you can't bring a vehicle onto the island. So the only way you can get around, they do have vehicles, but you have to hire them through like a, tour guide um, and they do like tours and excursions of the island or you can get bikes so um, that's something we're maybe thinking about doing tomorrow
we've just made it all the way to uh, Playa La Cocina, we think it's called, and it's one of the most beautiful beaches on the island and it's well worth the walk. We walked about an hour from town, it's about just over four kilometres walk, and it's absolute paradise down here. It's very sheltered from the wind because it's like a little bay. And just as we were walking in, there's some surfers over there and some of the biggest waves we've ever seen being surfed. They're huge. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they're all getting like barrel rolled and stuff. So it's really cool to watch. So I think we're gonna spend most of the day just chilling here, wait for the sunset. And we're just basically on the, to the right of us there is a volcano. So it's just absolute paradise. It's amazing to be here. beautiful beach just being out wading up to waist deep it's a little bit cold in the water but um, Hannah's been a bit deeper yeah, it's just it feels so alright now yeah it? once you get used to it like anything it's, it's nice but it's just a bit of a because it's been so warm in the sun so mm. yeah really nice it's just so turquoisey the colour like the sandy rocks as well yeah Lovely. such a cool place So we just finished sunbathing on the beach that we've been on all day and it's about 4.30 now and we're going to head round to the next beach that we were on yesterday and we're going to go take some more photos there. We've just been droning around this beach and the massive waves been droning through it so it looks incredible and so we're just going to go enjoy sunset over on this beach now. Because it's such a clear day and it's, well, it's actually a bit hazy on the horizon, we think the sun's kind of just going to drop down and not really do anything too magical tonight. It was really nice last night, but we think we're going to start heading back. And Hannah's asked me to make a pilot tonight, so um, yeah, we'll take you through that because it usually is a pretty good pilot. So we're hoping they've got a dish in the Airbnb that we're in that we can actually make one. So that's going to be fun. And yeah, we're going to just walk back now. It's about a 40 minute, 45 minute walk back to our Airbnb from here. So we're just going to walk back in this nice glowy light and go make some dinner. Yeah, what are you going to make? Hi, hello, everybody told them. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another day on La Graciosa. This is actually our final full day of exploring the island, and we're going to head up this road today, and we're going to go to what is possibly the most beautiful beach on the island. So we're very excited to get the, up there and explore. The sun's just popped out from behind the mountains, and it's nice and warm. Yep, a beautiful day. Can't wait. It's quite, quite a trek, I think, but we are ready with our trainers today and um, yeah, excited to make the most of our last day here on the island. You look like some sort of Dora Explorer. <laughs> yeah, follow me. <laughs> We 
we've just made it to Las Conchas Beach and it is absolute paradise here. Well worth the hike, it took about 72 minutes to walk here and just, over, just about six kilometers. And the road was actually a bit easier than the road yesterday because it's much more firm road so we were able to wear trainers which was much better on our feet. And yeah, it's just so good being here finally because we've dreamed about this beach for the last two years now and we've got to go explore. We've just been spending the last few hours chilling on the beach and we thought we'd just give you a quick update because we haven't talked to the camera for the last few hours. And um, one thing that we've noticed since we've been on the beaches and the Graciosa, because we're staying on the island, most people come for day trips. So by about three or four o'clock, most people have actually left the beaches to go back on the ferry to the mainland. Well, the mainland to Lanzarote. And so we pretty much have the whole beach to ourselves. Yeah, so tip is stay on the island because you're gonna be able to have most of the beaches Nice yourself. and quiet in the afternoon. Yeah. And there's so much that we haven't seen on the island, and we want to come back. Yeah. And stay for like a week or something, and just explore the whole island. But it's absolute paradise here, and the weather actually seems to get better. By about one o'clock, it like clouds seem to burn off, and then it seems to get really hot and nice, and you can just sunbathe for the rest yeah. of the afternoon. At this time of year, I don't know what it is like at the no. times of year. Yeah, but it's, I mean, this is January, and we're in the mid twenties, sunny, warm. It's not too windy for the last few days. It's just beautiful. Okay, so we've managed to pull ourselves away from the beach, which is really sad, that was really hard to do because it's just yeah. paradise out there. And one of the best beaches, and yeah. it's rated one of the best in Europe, in the top 10 apparently, and I can we can agree with that, can't we? Mm -hmm. It's really, really nice. Definitely probably one of my top 10 beaches I've been to. Yeah. And um, yeah, we're gonna head back to the little town now, and we're gonna do a couple of photos around the town before the sun sets, then probably make ourselves some dinner, and then get all our bags packed ready to get the ferry tomorrow and so it's gonna be really hard to leave this island but it's just it's super easy to get to and actually flying here from the UK is really cheap and really reasonable so fly to the mainland Lanzarote and then just get a short ferry across and it's been really really good fun yeah I think we would love to have spent ages here two days has been plenty hasn't it to yeah. see what we wanted to see but there's still so much more to the island we've got a really good feel for the island and a really good yeah. Uh, like a uh, working it out and getting to know the island so I think we're definitely going to come back in the future yeah and we'll write a guide so you can know if you want to visit you can read all about it <laughs> So guys, that is the end of our time on La Graciosa. We've had an amazing time. And tomorrow morning we get the ferry back to Lanzarote and then we're gonna get the plane back to the UK. 
and we hope you enjoyed watching this video let us know in the comments what your favorite bit was and um, please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos we'll see you guys in the next one